Today I am going to present a short summary of the book Getting Things Done by David Allen. David Allen introduces his famed stress-free productivity approach in Getting Things Done 2001. You can face an overwhelming quantity of tasks using this technique and it be productive, creative and relaxed while doing so. Why should you care, learn to do more with less stress? What does this book have in store for us? Learn how to be more productive while being stress-free. Your brain is excellent at thinking but awful at recalling information. You will need the correct workspace, tools and filing system to completely apply the GTD system. Use trustworthy external collecting tools to keep track of all your activities, ideas, reminders and more. Empty all of your external collection tools on a weekly basis. Organize clearer collection tools and set items where they belong. Keep track of your current tasks with a project list and focus on clear next steps at all times. Natural planning outlines your projects, objectives and future actions. Maintain a calendar and next action list instead of a daily to-do list. When you are working with others, waiting for list can be really beneficial. All ideas having the potential to be useful in the future should be written down. On a someday, maybe list or in a particular file. Reflect. It is critical to review your system on a regular basis if you want to function efficiently. Engage. Decide what to do in each situation based on your priorities and the present situation. A bottom-up investigation will help you understand your own priorities. The basic point of this book is that the GTD Getting Things Done system allows you to tackle a lot of tasks in a relaxed manner. It allows you to have complete control over your work. The following are the 5 critical steps in the GTD process. Number 1. Keep track of your ideas in external collection tools that you often empty. This allows your mind to focus on what it does best, thinking and problem solving. Number 2. Make sure you understand what each thing is and what you can do with it. Number 3. Organize the results into a category structure such as your calendar and projects, next action, someday, maybe, and waiting for categories. Number 4. Think about what matters to you and go over the items in your system. This is important because it maintains your continuous trust in the system. Number 5. Put efforts into your tasks. Choose the action you can take based on the situation, time, and energy available and your priorities. If you like this short summary, give a like to this video and subscribe for more.